Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's always nice to uh, know where you can go for to die for food. The best in the city. The best in the city. And you know, I'm starving right now, and it's torture that there are donuts and banana bread right in front of me. Erin Ireland is joining us now to tell us about uh, some great spots. Tanash, how are you? I am great. How are you? Good. Good. Nice Good. to see you. How's the garlic? Did you try the garlic? The, uh, the uh, what, what's it? Elephant. elephant garlic? Elephant garlic. Did yeah. You bring it up again. Yeah. No, I haven't tried it yet. I will. Mike, it was a gift. I know. I know. Mike, oh, look at you two. Don't get. How is this turning on me already? <laughs> okay, Erin, what are we look, talking about? You're today? actually hurt. I know, she's hurt. Look at, she's crushed. Well, I brought it to you for on Valentine's Day. It was, I, I just think it's amazing, and I, I wanted you, you're, I Did I you're try scared it? of it. I can't remember. Oh, you would remember. You're, <laughs> I would probably remember sitting next to it. I'm her. having oh, yeah. guy panic. Guy panic. Oh, it lasts, though, yeah, and it, it like emanates from your pores. It's, Good stuff. Delicious. Okay, what Ladies, are we talking about close. today? We've got a okay. lot of spots to get to. Yes, Where are we, we starting? Okay, we're starting at Musette Cafe. So this is Vancouver's first cyclist-specific cafe. Do either of you bike? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. So you enter through the back in the back alley on Hornby Street, and you can even bring your bike inside for peace of mind. Hooray, that's nice, especially if you have a sweet ride, right? I can see one just leaning up in the front of that last picture that was really nice. Oh, yeah, well, that's a memorabilia that's all over the walls. The owner, Thomas, he's like a hardcore bicycling cyclist. Bicycling. Bicycling. <laughs> that's actually that's a really good term. Out. He's a bicycling. He's a bicyclist. He's a bicycling. <laughs> we're just better. flipping past the food here. What was the first one we Okay, sorry, that's a crepe. So um, Musette is a joining European bakery so they get the lunch food from there most of it this is unbelievable yeah, heavenly crepe good. warm soft gooey cheese egg and garlic looks that's like incredible really good oh it was to die and for and the s'more something that i have never had in my life okay i think this is a perfect s'more because it's got soft cookies so it doesn't break and crumble all over the place when you eat it um yeah this is from a great bakery over on the north shore where he gets most of his baked goods from he sourced amazing stuff though he's got 49th parallel coffee mm. everything there is great really cute spot and just such a great concept because there's nothing people like more especially the road cyclists than getting all dressed up riding for 15 minutes having a coffee for an hour and then riding that's back how home you for ride 15 minutes. that's how you ride oh yeah well that's how you ride there you want it's like a club it's, yeah, it's like the cyclist club yeah. okay let's talk things. about matchstick mm -hmm. coffee roasters matchstick coffee roasters i think this is the most beautiful cafe in vancouver i walked in and my jaw dropped and it's like i heard singing it's so bright it's wide open it's and it's and it's absolutely packed so it's right by les faux bourgeois yeah so a little bit of a destination for some of us but it's become quite the neighborhood cafe um, they do a small little lunch. They have three sandwiches, but they have baguettes from Baguette and Co. Meat from Save on Meats, and incredible pastries. And like, what did you have here? Oh, this is the roast beef sandwich. So, mm. again, from Save on Meats, some onion chips. I was focused on the sandwich though. So the blue cheese dressing, really good, but amazing coffee. Phil and Sebastian Coffee. It's from Calgary, and they're soon going to start roasting their very own beans. And these guys are like really, really hardcore coffee enthusiasts. I love so, it. Nice. I like yeah. that. Okay, I like let's the talk summary. about Cartem's Donuts. I keep on hearing about them. You have a couple right in front of us. What is the deal? Okay, so you guys are the two last people in Vancouver to try these. I haven't tried them. Really? They are a phenomenon. There are lineups around the block. So it's kind of funny. These are pretty expensive, but they're based on the downtown east side at Carroll, they have a pop-up shop, but these are also sold at Woodland Smokehouse. Right. Uh, you guys had, we had one, one yesterday. yesterday. That's why we're talking about them. And what yeah. flavors have we got here? Okay, this is Earl Grey. This is the most popular, and this is the bacon bourbon. Earl Grey donut and bacon bourbon? <gasps> you know what? I'm not a donut person. Nor am I. But there's but that something sounds amazing. about these. Who's they're not fried. A donut person. Honestly, to me, one bite, I feel like I'm done for the day. Like, they're, you just know just... how bad they are. But these, they're like hyper local. They, they let you know where they get every single ingredient from. Are we allowed to try and them? And fried in, please do. You're going to go Mike, crazy. Mike, do you want to try Bacon bourbon. Bacon just bourbon. Bacon. Bacon. Made this for is... the men. They may as well just call this the Eckford. Okay, you know so we're going to continue chatting along. The next one we're going to is Ensemble Tap. Ensemble oh Tap. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, they've just started brunch. So... They only had lunch and dinner before, but this is crispy bacon pancakes. And I think they're gonna start putting a little fruit compote on there too, but there it is fantastic. So great new brunch spot to head to in town. We also had the brisket Benny. This oh, was that delicious. Looks good. It was really good. Little charred tomato there. So yeah, for all the brunchers, we're okay, such a big brunch uh, community. Okay, and pizza. There is, uh, you know what? Good pizza is hard to find, but once you do, it's addictive. And you know what? The pizza culture has just exploded here in mm -hmm. Vancouver. So it was the Oscars recently. So I went to Novo. They're right attached to the Fifth Avenue Cinemas, and they had a great little special. Okay, time out. No, I'm good. 
Amazing. No, how's the bacon? Oh, that, oh <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, delicious. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, crazy. It's like weird tasting. It's so good almost. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's not what you expect. No. It's better than anything. Anything. <laughs> I know. Like, it's I know. That good. <laughs> okay. I have to try it. Yeah, you okay. have to try it. So, so what kind of pizza is this? This is a burrata, and I think I loved it so much because it had no tomato sauce, and it had the room temperature burrata, so you really taste the flavor of the cheese. Mm -hmm. um, this is honestly the second best pizza I've ever had in my life. <laughs> The the second first. best. No, the I first. love that you have an internal pizza ranking going on. I only started this. I know, crazy. I'm huh? having a donut moment. That I know. Oh, I one is ridiculous. I'm having a donut moment. Where's your moment. favorite pizza in the world? I actually haven't tried this one. Um, in, in Naples. Me too. Oh, featured on Oprah. Pizza Rate. You been? Mm -hmm. In Naples. It was the best. I'm I've never been able to replicate it. Unbelievable. We're so spoiled. The best pizza I ever had, Michael, was in Napoli. I have but, never but been in Napoli. So. It, it was really, like, mm -hmm. life-altering. I'm not even a pizza person, really. I don't even want to talk anymore because this donut is so good. Okay, non pen. Well, you ladies, I'll do a little spoken word while you're eating. Well, <laughs> I've never done this before. Okay, so Mark, <laughs> Mark, I hadn't tried that Both one. Both of you were like, arr, arr, arr. Well, I picked this up this morning. It's in my car in the front seat, and I, I totally wanted to just snag some because mm -hmm. I hadn't tried the Earl Grey. Um, so this is, it's it's national, it's, yeah, noodle month. March is noodle month. So. Noodle month? You know what? I really wanted an excuse to go back to Phnom Penh, which I actually went to for the first time last week. You probably heard of it, Phnom Penh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. So this is just a reminder to everyone how un- Believable. What yeah. is this dish here? I have a buddy um, that lives uh, within a couple of blocks of Phnom Penh, and it's a, uh, it's a go-to. Like everybody meets at his house, walks, stuffs their faces, and then. And walks you go home. and you wait an hour and a half. Yeah. But you're, you don't it's care. It's so worth it's it. It's kind of like Pizzeria de Michele. Like you yeah. wait forever, you don't even care because yeah, it it's matter. so good. So what is this one? So this is their most popular noodle dish, and you basically you choose what kind of noodles you want. They have basically every kind of meat in there. Um, <laughs> a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, yeah. A but if you're, of meat. If you're gonna go though, you have to get the luke lak and is the luke butter lak? beef. Luke lak, I don't even know what it is. Is that it the next picture beef. we have? It, it's, an ex, it's that really um, <laughs> saucy looking beef. With so. the egg on top. With the egg on top, yeah. So it's oh, on yeah, rice. That's the one. Yeah. It's beef. It's oh my gosh, yeah. That looks amazing. It really runny eggs. So you mix the yolk in there. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's another one of those indescribable yeah, kind of things. It just needs a donut. Just needs a donut on top, oh, and it's the perfect Homer Simpson meal. And what's this one here? Is this calamari? Oh, the best chicken wings in town. Oh, chicken wings. They're the best chicken wings. I need glasses. In town. I think this is a pretty unanimous feeling, but yeah. they're just covered in garlic, yeah. and um, the sauce is just lemon and, and pepper, and simple and unbelievable. Delicious and unbelievable. Uh, really. Quick, Sienna. Mm -hmm. Sienna, so brand new, just opened on South Granville. This is Mark Taylor's second restaurant, the owner of Crew. I went there a couple of weeks ago, and four of us each had an entree. Two of the four entrees were outstanding. Uh, the mushroom uh, tagliatelle mm. and the chicken dish were outstanding. The other two were great, so I recommend it as a, a great new dinner spot, good for dates or. Excellent. Well, Aaron, thank you so much, and I am <coughs> just going to <coughs> get the yes. donuts over oh, here. A little bit closer. Of a What's this? Michael, I have um, something to ask you. Yes. He's married, Aaron. <laughs> yes. She's got a boyfriend. <laughs> it's all right. Um, will you do me the honor of being on the, the first man on the <gasps> breadboard? Yes. Okay, we have to explain. Your banana bread, as we see right here, you have um, a breadboard, which I I'm feel on, like there should be trumpets. Which is all women, and we get to taste the new flavors. And Ooh. Michael's been whining. Whining, uh, lobbying, I think. To be, be on the nice breadboard and be a bread taster. Well, what flavor is this? Lobbying. Oh, this is the original. And so I thought we could consummate this da, 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 with da. Uh, a, a bite of banana bread. <laughs> uh, you are on the breadboard. Yes, you're on the breadboard. We're going to take a break.